Hi, I'm Anthony Dimitrescu, team captain of First FRC Team 3476 Code Orange, located in Irvine, California. I'm also team leader for the Research Robot Project subteam. We created the research subteam in early 2015 to use our robotic skills to solve real-world problems. We call our first project the Worm Washer. We designed our system to assist Dr. Sinquin's lab at the UCI School of Biological Sciences. Dr. Sinquin's research centers on developmental and cell biology, and he often performs genetic modification experiments on the C. elegans worm. The C. elegans worm is the first animal to have its entire genome sequenced and has approximately 100 million base pairs of DNA. It's widely used by research labs all over the world because it's one of the simplest organisms with a nervous system, can be studied in great detail, and can be easily transformed with transgenes. His ability to do extensive experiments is severely limited because the procedure for culturing these worms is being done manually. After all, there are only so many graduate students available for the task. So, we decided to invent and build a robot that could culture the worms automatically and in much higher numbers. Robots complain less than graduate students. Our first step was to meet repeatedly with Dr. Sinquin to understand exactly what he needs. In brief, he needs to keep the worms in separate wells in a bacterial suspension that acts as their food and transgene source, agitate the well plates constantly to keep the bacteria in suspension, remove the old suspension once per day, wash the worms with a clear buffer, take images of the worms to collect the experimental data, replenish the bacterial suspension, and repeat this for two to three weeks with as many well plates as possible. Our research robot project subteam brainstormed options and then invented a robot that could do the job. We made a 3D block conceptual model and after a few more meetings got Dr. Sinquin's approval to proceed to the final design. After many months of work, our team converted the conceptual design into a practical one. Let's look at the different subsystems. The nutating tower contains 10 well plates with 12 experiments each, for a total of 120 simultaneous experiments. It keeps 9 of the 10 well plates agitated while the 10th is being processed. The well plate arm moves the well plate between the nutating tower and the other stations. The 12 1 liter beakers contain the different bacterial suspensions which are added to selected wells. The magnetic stirrer motors keep the bacterial suspensions from settling in the beakers. The pipette assembly moves in three dimensions to deliver the pipette from the beakers to the well plates. The vacuum nozzle removes the old suspension. This nozzle delivers cleaning buffer. The camera takes periodic pictures of the C. elegans worms in their wells. I almost forgot to tell you, the entire robot fits into a standard incubator in order to keep the temperature constant. Let's follow a typical cycle of this robot. The tower nutates the 10 well plates to keep the bacteria in suspension. The nutator momentarily stops while the arm lifts one well plate up and then out of the tower. The well plate lid is removed by the green electromagnet. The old fluid in the well is removed with a vacuum needle and all necessary pictures are taken with the orange camera. Buffer is subsequently removed in preparation for adding the fresh bacterial suspension. The pipette assembly with no tip is moved over a beaker. The green electromagnet is engaged and the lid is lifted and moved. Each beaker must have its own pipette tip to avoid cross-contamination between the bacterial mixtures. The tip associated with the beaker is attached to the pipette. The pipette is positioned over the beaker. The red ultrasonic sensor measures the fluid level to 1 mm accuracy. The pipette tip is positioned just below the bacterial suspension surface. The pipette is moved over the appropriate well and the bacterial suspension is dispensed. The pipette is dynamically programmable and accurate to 10 microliters. The beaker lid is replaced. After all 12 of the wells are processed, the well plate is placed back in the nutating tower and the cycle repeats. So there you have it, it's that simple. Since the C. elegans worm is used as a genetic research model by a large number of labs throughout the world, we believe that our invention could have a significant impact by expediting C. elegans related research. It's an elegant solution.